welcome everybody to another Han Replays.org tournament final. Yet again, we have Check Six, the dominant powerhouse of the last couple weeks, up against Team Five. Casting today is going to be me, Insane Rabbi, here with Con88 and Cinch. Say hi, guys. How you doing? How's it going, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I believe Khan might be in the restroom right now. Sorry about that. Um, nevertheless, we are in the banning stages right now. A uh, little bit of smack talk going on back and forth. Uh, nothing too harsh. Everybody just uh, everybody just having kind of a good time, but we'll see what happens. Angry Testy claiming he's going to outrun Control True. We'll see what happens. But uh, as for the bans, we see Kronos being banned, Slither being banned, and Hellbringer being banned. Uh, I would expect uh, a cursed and blacksmith, probably the next two, but uh, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Just uh, quite a lot of trash talking going on between Angry Testy and, and uh, Chew. Hey, can you hear me, guys? Cinch, what do you think about the bands? Hmm? Who, who do you think they really? Can need you hear me, guys? Oh, there's the blacksmith one. Yeah, I hear Con. Okay. Can you all hear me? Just one second. Sorry. Is Khan talking and we're not? He's not. Yeah, Khan's different. talking right now. You're good. Um, right now, yeah, the bans look pretty standard. Um, the only thing right now, uh, Testy banning Defiler because Chu's been playing Defiler tons lately. They uh, they know that push strat is uh, it's been played a lot. Um, Blacksmith and Ophelia also. Um, I think the Ophelia, you know, just because push stratting has been pretty popular lately, so um, they kind of want to shut down on that. And uh, Blacksmith, just an uh, incredibly powerful hero. Um, all that magic armor debuff that he can give off, uh, multicast can just drop squishies instantly in fights. Um, all the bands look pretty common right now. You don't always see a Slither band, but uh, definitely I think it's a good band. So, um, Calm, what do you think about the uh, Demented first pick? Uh, that's very strange. Uh, Demented first pick, haven't seen that anyway. It's, um, it certainly doesn't... Um, uh, you know, D Demented Shaman such a versatile hero. It doesn't say anything about what direction five are going in. Um, is is that a strange first pick? Do you think it's kind of strange to me? Is that just me? Um, I, I think, I think it. Uh, I think it's first pickable, but um, I think a cursed here is just a little bit better. Um, it's just yeah. a, that's just my style. So uh, I don't know, but um, I was yeah, I think Demented. Yeah, Demented, uh, Plague Rider, Corrupted, Disciple, uh, those are all pretty first pick material. Um, maybe make an argument for Zephyr, but he hasn't been played that much lately. So, um, yeah, we'll see how everything develops here. Yeah, I, I'd expect to see Zephyr picked on one of the teams. Like, he hasn't been played mostly, because I've, 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 I, in the last two tournaments, I haven't watched a game where he hasn't been banned or picked. So, there we go. Agmas is another... Mm, First pick for uh, check six Magmus and Puppet Master. Okay, so a really strong carry there, obviously in Puppet Master, one of the best. Um, yeah, I imagine uh, Puppet's probably gonna get swapped to Chu, so uh, you'll probably see yeah. Chu solo mid against Testy, and uh, Testy will probably get. Um, I'd like to see Testy play a CD here. I think it would be uh, an ideal situation for him. Um, Puppet, all of Puppet spells are single targetables, and um, if Corrupted uh, takes, um, I'm trying to remember, I think it's Static Discharge. Um, yeah. Every time Puppet tries to cast a single target spell on him, it's gonna, you know, really help out in those fights. Yeah. Something definitely uh, though. I was thinking. Sorry. Go ahead. It's fine. Uh, actually, what I was going to say is a curse is usually picked when you plan on running a ranged carry, such as a Corrupted Disciple, maybe an Arachna or something like that. And the reason they might have Desham first picked is because they had that Swift Blade pick pan uh, planned all along. If you'll notice, they took uh, you know Defiler out of the out of the game right there, so that only leaves Soul Stealer, which you're not going to really pick a Soul Stealer against five because they're going to run some sort of dual lane aggression on you right off the bat so I, I mean just the way the picks are kinda working like I said the D-Sham they're looking at babying a melee uh, ranged hero which you have two farmers both Testy and Tabaco and I, you know I think a curse would have been picked if they were looking at running a Disciple or an Arachna but as we can see they were looking at running Swift given they're gonna put him with Plague but they are going to babysit another melee here on the 4-5 pick from 5 
Uh, as for the Puppet Magnus Accursed Soul Reaper, just good standard heal, you know, heal lane in Accursed Soul Reaper. Puppet, very versatile, can lane with mag, can lane with anything, or of course, you know, a great solo. What I was going to mention though is I actually don't think Chu would have played Puppet Master, although looking at the picks now, I think that uh, he is. An interesting Tempest pick. Explain why, An Cinch. Angry I think if he's. Um, well, just to point out, uh, I don't know if this is true, but Fu said uh, Chu misclicked mag instead of a cursed which kind of reinforces the fact that Cursed would have been a first pick in that situation. So uh, I'm surprised that he was third there. But uh, Tempest, um, I'm not going to lie, uh, not the biggest Tempest fan, but um, versus their lineup, let's take a look at it. Um, Soul Reapers. I don't, know if I, li I don't know if I like it. Uh, the reason I don't like it, and uh, here's, my, here's my justification on this, Tempest is a uh, Tempest forces team fights, which under a lot of circumstances it's going to be great. But you don't want to force a team fight whenever you have a mag, that um, you're just setting up a team fight for all five of your heroes to be clumped together, and the mag's going to have a blink. He's going to blink in there with an all, and then he's going to stun Tempest and just break it, and then everybody in there is just going to take all of uh, mag's uh, alt damage. So I'm not a huge fan at all of Tempest because I don't think setting up for team fights is what you want when your uh, opponents have a mag. I think uh, I was I was before that Tempest pick. I think Pyro was a shoe in for check six there, and um, uh, mainly because like Magnus Pyro is a really good lane. It goes well with the team, and Puppet hadn't been swapped to Chew yet, so I kind of thought Puppet was gonna or Chew was gonna pick up Pyro. He usually plays a really good Pyro, but then Tempest was picked, so they went for Vindicator, which is pretty much the hard counter to um, to Tempest. Uh, also interesting to see Angry Tessie on Tempest. He'll be playing, hopefully, a ganking role, which will be really entertaining to watch. I think. Man, Nobody's ready up, quickly, so stay. maybe swaps will yeah. come in here quick. <laughs> what yeah. I was actually looking for you to pick up on Cinch is look at the lanes. Tempest is going to jungle, and you're going to have Plague and Swift together, or even D Sham and Swift together, which means you're going to have a solo Plague or a solo Demented Shaman. I'm not I think a fan solo of play of that. is pretty tangible. You feel that way? Yeah, I think he could, if he wanted to, he could solo uh, solo plague or uh, CD on the top or mid. It really won't matter, and then have Tempest, um, you know, get those ganks off on the top lane. I I think it's fine, but I really hate the fact that they're setting, you know, the Tempest pick setting up for the the team fights and with Mag in the pool or with them Mag already picked. You don't want Mag. Uh, you know, on the enemy team, if you're setting up for team fights, I think it's just bad news written all over it. And uh, Vindy's obviously, uh, like Khan said, just straight up hard counter to him. Well, it'll that be interesting, interesting to see exactly what happens. I'm sorry, go ahead, Khan. Um, yeah, <laughs> one second, Chu swapped with uh, Merc, and so Chu's on Soul Reaper now. But uh, yeah, we see Testy coming into the game on Tempest, so he will be playing that Tempest. <laughs> Not picking up his uh, carry roll uh, or semi carry roll, which he usually does. So, but uh, a good farmer on Tempest is usually um, is usually a really strong. Picking for really early, you know, um, blink dagger, or puzzle box, or something similar is really strong. Something I was actually looking at. I would have preferred Plague to go top. That we have a slow plus the stun on a Tempest gank, and it's easier obviously to gank top for Tempest. But instead, we're going to see a Disciple going top and the play going mid, a uh, little less aggressive in my opinion, I think Disciple mid probably would have been better, but uh, you know, this way Disciple top is going to get a very good babysit off of Tempest Ginks and, and uh, it, it, you know, we'll see exactly how that plays out, hopefully he gets an extra level or two compared to everyone else in the game off of the Tempest babysit on top, but yet again, you know, I feel that it's not as hero killable in the sense that you don't have the slow and the stun, you just have a nuke. So we'll see how it plays out. Uh, fight coming up for the top rune here. I think they're just going to kind of chill at it. Um, we do see Soul Reaper going top with a Cursed, which is you know pretty much expected. We see Vindicator solo by...